Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing great. So with the latest release of 20.10, we have some amazing features related to personal workspaces in the UiPath Orchestrator. So what's really a personal workspace? It's something where you can have a separate area in the same orchestrator instance where you can have your own packages, you can have your own processors that only you have access to or only a selected set of people have access to so that you can do the development, you can test and you can finalize before moving into the production environment. So with the UiPath Orchestrator folders, how can you manage the personal workspaces? Let's have a look. So this is the latest version of the UiPath Orchestrator. So I'm showing you the community version over here. And this is the new design. So as of now, once you publish a package, it's shown under the packages option. So if you go to this tenant under packages, you will see all the published packages. And whenever you create a process inside the different folders, which can be a classic folder or which can be a modern folder, the processes will reside inside each and every folder. But the packages are common to the end for the tenant. So there are two levels. You have the tenant level and you have the folder level. If we check the folders and if you go to automations and processes, here you can see the processors available for that particular pro folder and it's the same for uh, classic folders as well but as you see when i try to create a new process it always looks for the same packages option that we have in the tenant level so when it comes to personal workspaces we should have a place where we can have our own packages as well so that it won't affect the produ production uh, packages that's already available in the tenant level because these packages we update time to time we delete different versions we test it we do a lot of things so it's always good to have a personal work area where we can do these things. So you have UiPath have introduced one great feature that's coming up with the modern folders where we can create our own workspaces. So to check that, we can click on the tenant again. And if you go to folders, Here you will have all the available folders for you. So let's create a folder. Once you click on the new folder, you see some new options over here. So you can select whether it's a classic folder or a modern folder. So for classic folders, those other options will be disabled. Modern folder is what is going to be there for in the long run as most of the new features that are coming in will be added to the modern folders. So when you talk about the modern folders, here we have two options. You can access the packages. So here it says processes, process packages source. So it's asking for the source for the packages, whether it's the tenant packages feed or whether you want to create a new package feed for this particular folder so 
tenant package feed means the packages feed over here so the option it is asking to create a new package feed it will have its own feed for packages inside the folder itself so let's try that so let's provide a good name for this folder and I'll be creating a modern folder with this option create a new source new feed for this folder and I will create it so this folder is available now if I try to create any subfolders for this particular folder it won't have that options available so if you see this if you see add subfolder you only have the ability to provide the name and the description so all those features are available only for the first level of the folder hierarchy so if we actually check the check this over here for this package it says folder packages and for other other folders you don't have anything like that why you have it here is because it's a special folder where it has its own package feed so now let's have a look at the folder on the left hand side panel go to that folder and here you will see all the available features you can do a comparison as well if you go to automations here you will see a difference so in our new folder we have folder packages option whereas if we check the other folders you don't have that so this is our personal workspace in this folder and you can add any number of users as well through folders go to the folder and here you can add any users who want to access that so if you go to the folder again go to automations if you go to folder packages you can see all the packages that can be available in this folder so how do you up, um, add packages to this you can either upload just like you are doing it to the packages feed at the tenant level or else you can add packages from the studio itself so how do you do that let's have a look at the studio so here i have a simple uh, workflow where i have a message box i'm not focusing about workflow designs or anything because our main idea is to talk about the folders and personal workspaces so if i click on publish and go to publish options okay, I need to refresh and click on publish publish options here we have two options now so earlier we used to have orchestrator tenant processors feed and we had the custom feed where you give your own folder path and if you have any API keys and it, and it will be published to that particular folder and in the tenant feed it's the old version or the old feature that we had where you publish the packages to the tenant level packages feed so as you saw earlier once I refresh we have a new option here so here it says orchestrator test package feed feed so this is actually the name that I gave for that folder as you see here test package feed so 
will publish this package to that particular folder and click next and publish so the process has already published successfully and now if we go to the folder and do a quick refresh we can see the process we already published and if we actually go to tenant level and in packages if we search for it it's not there so it it will be only visible with for this package itself yeah it's over here and when you want to create a process out of this package you can easily go to processors select the package so here the other thing is you don't see the packages available in the tenant level you only see the packages that are in folder packages so when you are creating processes again you can only create processes for packages that's available inside this folder because it's your personal workspace and you don't need to interact with the other packages or other processes available at the tenant level so you can create just like we used to do and create the process okay so what's remaining is to create a job and run the process so before running we need to make sure of one thing if you are having an unattended robot you need to add the uh, machine template to the folder if you are having an attended robot that's fine so go back to tenant go to folders and test package feed so in my case i am having an unattended robot assigned to myself so i need to uh, add the machine template as you see here it's an unattended floating robot so go to folders go to the package sorry a folder and under machine templates you can simply add the machine template that we have created earlier and click on assign why you need to do this is because you need to have a runtime available to run the packages or the processors inside that folder and now since we have configured that go back to the folder go to automations go to jobs and let's create the process job i select my process and again as you see here we can only create jobs with the processors available inside this package it won't show any process or package available in the tenant level and my job type is going to be unattended so it can be any user and any machine so if you have a specific user you can simply click and select the user and simply you can select the machine as well because in my case i have already one machine so it can be set as any machine so let's see how this works so i'll start the process and it's running so this is the message in my workflow and it's successful so if you check the assistant screen you also have that process under the folder name so here you have the folder name and the processors available inside that so you already have the same set of 
options just like in other processes you can see the process details so everything is there yeah so that's how you create the personal workspaces and that's how you can easily organize the processors and the packages that you are working on before moving or before publishing it to the tenant level packages so that by by using this way you can have your things organized and if you are working as a team you can have all the team members assigned to this particular folder and have them working inside the folder with the packages and with the jobs and processes without affecting the production level or the tenant level uh, packages and processes so this way you can easily organize your stuff and you can make sure that you don't uh, override the tenant level packages time to time for your testing purposes so whenever you are done with the final versions and whenever you are ready with that all you need to do is go back to the tenant level publish the final workflow to that package or if you have a different architecture where you have a different folder for all the production level packages or processors you can do the same approach and add that final version there and to have the processors running from there itself so it depends on the architecture that you are using or uh, and the best practices so whenever you need to delete or whenever you need to delete update these packages or processes you simply need to do the changes inside the folder itself just like you used to do before and it will all affect inside the folder thank you very much and i'll see you in another video with many other new features thank you very much and have a great day